What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, um, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just letting you guys know. Um, this is a free general reading for the sign of Cancer. This is week four for the sign of Cancer of October 2021. I apologize, it's a few days late, but as everybody knows, I was arrested on October 20th of 2021. So it kind of delayed me a few days because I was going to start the readings that night, but I'm back now. So um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, to let y'all know, my son is home with me now. Thank goodness. Um, my daughter is receiving treatment right now. So um, that's where we're all right now. For anybody that one, wanted to know, there's a lot of people that's asked me. So. All right, let's do it. This could resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, and Jupiter charts. Okay, so I received several channels in as I, as I was meditating on your weekly energy. The first one I heard, recent events have left the cancer very, very shook. They're about to take serious action. Um, the second one I heard, um, many more events are going to leave a cancer shook. Um, a lot of shook energy in cancer's reading. And then the third one I heard, lots of um, abundance and success is about to come to a particular cancer, divine being. They very, uh, they deserve it very much. So you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Congrats to divine being cancer, just saying, um, if that resonates for you. Um, I heard you deserve it very much, and obviously, yes, uh, you do. So um, congrats to whoever that's for. Um, but so you have to plug yourself in however you resonate in these messages if you do um, There's millions and billions of people in the world. So, you know, you have to plug yourself in how you fit um, Are you low vibrational? Are you high vibrational? Are you divine being? Are you low vibrational? You know, you have to plug yourself in So I heard recent events have left a particular cancer shook So shook mean, you know, shook up, shook up some kind of recent events It could be in your life closely connected to you or somebody you're connected to However, that resonates. And then I heard more events coming or about to leave a cancer shook. So that could be for the same person or a different person. A lot of shook energy in the collective, but with this Aries full moon and age of Aquarius energy. And um, we're just coming to Scorpio season today. I mean, a lot of change, a lot of change, a lot of change, transformation, transformation. So a lot of shook energy. You plug it in how it fits. And then... A particular divine being cancer whoever that's for i heard is about to uh, receive lots of many uh, lots of abundance of blessings in their world basically so congrats divine being cancer you're very high vibrational whoever that is for um congrats to you okay spirit messages you have sign of cancer A secret conversation between a Cancer and a Libra has been recorded by authorities. Will be you soon, low vibrational Cancer. Okay, so you plug it in however that resonates. Ooh. A secret conversation by a low vibrational Cancer and a Libra, and I'm presuming low vibrational Libra, um, from the message, um, is has been recorded and it's about to be used soon by the authorities. So you plug yourself in how you resonate. You could be connected to this low vibrational cancer, or you could be the low vibrational cancer. But some kind of secret. It's been recorded by the authorities. So whoever the authorities is, CIA, FBI, state police, local police. Um, it's been recorded. Uh, it sounds like it's already been recorded. But it's about to be used um, against this low, virus, low vibrational cancer and the low, low vibrational Libra, I'm presuming. So you plug it in how it resonates, if it does resonate. The full reverse, three of wands, um, upright.
A particular cancer is in the process of trying to get themselves out of serious toxicity. They recognize it now. Intuition has pop, speak up. Uh, sorry, not. Oh, I can't speak. Has spike. So you plug that in how it resonates. Um, so a particular, if this resonates with you, you have recognized you're in toxicity in some shape, form, or fashion. Some toxic situationship. Some children in toxic situations. Some, you are a neighbor of a family in a, that was in a toxic situation. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So, for some, you are a, na you are a neighbor of a family that was in a toxic situation. And it sounds like you're going to help them get out of this toxic situation. For some, you are in a toxic situation ship and you're about to get yourself out. And for some... Um, what was the other one? I forget the other one. You have to go back and check it. But you, um, you're about to get yourself out. You're about to get yourself out. You're about to unstick yourself. Your intuition has spiked and peaked in some shape, form, or fashion. So something in your world has spiked and peaked your intuition um, to cause you to get out of this toxicity. Um, for some, you're going to help a family, uh, a neighbor. I heard a neighbor that was in a toxic situation. That sounds like it has children. For some, your children are in toxic situations. If for some, oh, it was children. For some, your children are in toxic situations. If for some, you're in a toxic situation. So you are stuck right now. Stuck, stagnant energy, full reverse. You're not fearless. You're not free. You're stuck. Um, but this is three of wands energy of getting yourself out or getting this family out. For some, it's yourself and your children out um, of the situation or your children out. For some, it's a family your neighbors, your neighbor that has a family. So you plug it in, however it resonates. So this is the energy of getting yourself out or your neighbor out that has a family um, of the of the toxicity. Um, so they can be fearless and free, or you can be fearless or free. However that resonates for you, if that resonates for you, um, kudos to the, I mean, kudos to any of you guys in this situation, because you're taking action to get yourself out. But special kudos to the person that's about to help their neighbor get out. Because you don't, I mean, you you know, you don't have to help other people. It's good to always help other people, absolutely. But you're going to, it sounds like you're going to take special action to help this neighbor. It doesn't sound like you have to help them, but you want to help them. So could, extra special kudos to that person. That's wonderful. Okay. Spirit messages you have for sign of cancer. A cancer is about to make a very important phone call to the FBI soon. I heard ticket. Heard a cancer is about to make a special phone call to the FBI soon. We have been pulling FBI energy in here strong. Um, second sign I've done so far that has pulled in FBI energy. So if this resonates with you, Cancer, I heard you're about to call the FBI soon. Um, it could be on this one of these situations or something else. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. And obviously, um, whoever you're calling the FBI on, you don't have to live in the United States, but you're calling on a situation in the United States because uh, the FBI is in the United States. Um, you know, like Interpol is not, uh, FBI is. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. The devil upright, seven of cups upright, not a wands reverse.
A cancer is about to really heavily pick up on drug deals going on in their neighborhood. About to do something about it. Make very important phone call. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, if this is for you, I heard you're about to pick up on drug deals going on in your neighborhood, and you're about to make a very important phone call. You're going to help put a stop to it. Maybe you're going to call Crime Stoppers. Maybe you're going to call the um, local police, state police, FBI, but you're about to make a very important phone call and help put an end to this, um, to the drug, drug dealing going on in your freaking neighborhood. A lot of neighborhood energy, neighbor energy. Um, good for you. Good for you. Because let me tell you, last night when I was doing the collective reading, our, our poor neighbor has had his vehicle broken to four times in a month by neighborhood gang kids. Um, just for real, for real. And so we've had to do our own little community action, so to make sure those little punks don't come over here and break into anybody's vehicles anymore. So, I mean, kudos to you. That's just an example, but it sounds like you're about to do the same thing. If this resonates with you, cancer, you go with your bad self because, you know, you know, I had to, yeah, I got arrested three days ago for ridiculous stuff. Um, freedom of speech on my own property, basically, because somebody, they were trying to make, take my kids without my authorization. But yet you don't see the, you didn't see the police rolling up when um, this poor guy's vehicle got broken through four times in a, a month. I mean, I'm just saying. So, you know, it's like hypocritical energy, but you are about to take some positive action and call. You're about to recognize you're about you're highly intuitive or you're becoming highly intuitive who this resonates with you're about to recognize some drug deals going on in your neighborhood you're about to do something about it about to be community action your own self you go with your bad self so this is the drug deal energy this was um i think you being confused at first but being highly intuitive and recognizing it really is drug deals and this is um i think the drug dealers have no desire job and motivation towards you because they know that you're highly intuitive and um, they're trying to stay away from you um, to keep it on the low, basically. So you plug it in however it resonates. And one particular Pisces has really been staying away from a Cancer for strategic reasons, heavily dealing with the Taurus. This Cancer is picking up on this in a huge way. about to take serious action in their own hands and stray away from these people. Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you. And I heard a particular cancer, um, you've been dealing with a Pisces in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I think for a lot of you guys, I think it's that toxic situationship or a toxic partner. I think it's a love situation is what I'm trying to say because um they're are they're dealing with a uh, Taurus but they don't want you to know so I think it's like a third party energy a situation ship I think it's some kind of love sex thing it could be a prostitution situation possibly for some of you guys um some kind of love or sex thing behind your back because they don't want you to know they're dealing with the Taurus uh, but the Taurus I want you to know and the Pisces I want you to know but you know you know you know um Either you know now, or you're about to pick up on it, and you're about to stray away from them. You're going to take positive action in your own life, stray away from them, and um, basically leave them in the dust because you know they're lying to you. I think it's to do with love or sex. I do. Or both. So this is the those two sneaking off, I think, to go um, play more than patty cake behind the sheets. Devil energy. You were confused at first, but you're about to pick up on it, or you have picked up on it. And they have no desire, drive, and motivation towards you because they're playing more than patty cake behind the sheets. All right, let me get your oracle and then we'll close it. Gavin, I'm waiting. Son. Thank you. Share messages here up on Cancer. Okay, I heard take it up right. Number four might be very significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Number four. A particular cancer is about to find out about 
someone they're connected to his child that got hospitalized because of very narcissistic controlling energies they are about to take huge action and help this family okay so you plug it in how it resonates um, I heard a particular, uh, if this resonates with you, Cancer, you're about to find out about, um, I heard a family you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, a child, uh, it sounds like one child in this family unit. They could have one child, they could have 30 children, but at least one child in this family situation has been hospitalized. Um, um, for, it can be medical, it can be mental health, but they've been hospitalized uh, for something due to some kind of narcissistic controlling situation. But you're about to find out about it and you're going to help take some action to help this family. So, um, however, you're going to take action to help the family. It could be with important information. It could be um, physical assistance, um, financial assistance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But some kind of help, you're going to help this family. Um, you're about to find out information that at least one ch child in this family unit has been hospitalized. So you plug it in however it resonates. Acceptance. A particular cancer realizes they cannot change the past, but they are about to change the future in a huge, huge way. About to expose the truth. Tired of the lies. Okay, so you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, if this resonates with you, I heard you cannot, you realize you cannot, um, you cannot change the past, which that's true. You cannot change the past, but you can change the future. And I heard um, you're going to basically release some very important information, I think, of the past or situation or several situations that's going to help, um, it sounds like, vindicate someone, some people, or a situation, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, to help basically expose truth. Get the truth out there because it, you sounds like you know the truth. You know the truth. And you're going to help put the truth out there in a very public way. Now, it could be on social media. It could be out in the community. It could be both. Um, but in a very public way, you're going to get the truth out there to help the situation. Um, it sounds like I heard you're very tired of the lies. You're tired of the lies. So somebody has been feeding you a bunch of drama and lies or you fed into the drama and lies or both. But you're tired of it regardless. And you're about to just you're about to just put it all out there. Uh, willy nilly style. It could be somebody co closely connected to you. It could be someone you're just connected to. Um, it's someone you care about, though. Uh, person or people or family that you care about. I'll tell you that. Whoever this is. Um, but you're about to really, you're about to be brave and um, brave and um, and like freedom fighter energy and really help the situation. Um, so you cannot change the past, but you can change the future, and you realize that. So you're accepting the fact that you cannot change the past, but you can change the future, and you're about to do so. So you go with your bad self. You're accepting that you cannot change the past, but you can change the future. And absolutely, yes, absolutely. Nina, Chris, Justin, Tom. Nina, Chris, Justin, Tom. Sharon. Sharon, Claire, Claire, Thomas, Thomas, okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, okay. That could be your name, somebody you're connected to's name, first name, middle name, last name, nickname, um, et cetera, et cetera. You plug it in, help it. All right, you guys. I think we're done. All right. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it helped. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, um, if you wouldn't mind sharing these on your social media and word of mouth, I'd appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.